New details now on the disturbing case of a Chicago area veterinarian arrested on child pornography charges. That vet was in a federal courtroom today and citing substantial evidence a judge ruled a short time ago to detain the 39 year old. His name is Adam King. More now from CBS 2's Andrew Ramos. Andrew. Jim and Marie Adam King was in shackles. Both his hands and feet were restrained when he entered court today. The judge in this case called him a serious danger to children when she denied his request to get out of jail. In court, the charges against King were described as heinous and abhorrent. According to prosecutors, the 39-year-old had been using social media apps where he was sharing and receiving child pornography. Also took part in an online chat with an individual who turned out to be an FBI agent. Among the many disturbing statements he made in this chat, prosecutors say, was admitting to drugging his niece and nephew with Benadryl to sexually assault them. It generally takes 30 to 45 minutes and I usually double an adult dose, he wrote according to the charges. What the judge described as being the most troubling revelation was King discussing plans on adopting a baby via surrogate with his husband and saying, according to the charges, he was going to sexually assault the child after it was born, even sending over a photo of an outfit bought for the baby. King's parents, along with his husband and in-laws, attended the hearing. His parents telling the judge they would act as third-party custodians and would do everything in their power to follow the court's orders if a pretrial release was granted, including denying King from any internet access and any communication with minors. King's husband, Lucas King, testified that he had already moved out of the couple's home and was living with his parents where they were prepared to take in a baby who was expected to be born via surrogate this week. Prosecutors say if they did not step in when they did, King and his husband would have been in California this week for the birth. Now, the one thing King's uh, parents, his husband, as well as his in-laws all agreed on, they were completely in the dark when it came to his behavior, alleged behavior online, saying that they're still trying to make sense of these allegations. Now, one thing that remains unclear is if this adoption will proceed as planned. King is due back in court on April 1st. Reporting live from federal court, Andrew Ramos, CBS 2 News. Andrew, thank you.